YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy bringing y'all back another video. Today, we are going to be talking about is having a CDL in 2024 worth it? Let's talk about it.
my cup of tea. I, I never did it. Never wanted to do it. And probably never would do it unless it's like for Walmart or something that pays almost $2 per mile. Um, so when you first graduate school, you know, they'll have recruiters come there like Swift. I'm just giving their their name because they're the most common name that you find. And they'll, they'll pay you about 30 cents per mile, 3,000 miles uh, a week. And you know, if you do the math, it's pretty good. It's about take home eight, nine, 10, maybe 11, maybe 11. Um, to me, that's just not worth it. 3,000 miles, 3,500 miles for only 34 cents, 30, 34 cents a mile. Uh, that didn't sound appeasing to me at all. Uh, for one, you're not going to be home ever. You're going to be driving 11 hours a day. I mean, if that's what you want to do, you know, you got your CDL, you got your CDL to drive. I completely get it. But for me, I didn't, I didn't find that, you know, attractive. I got my CDL because I wanted to be a lineman. But um, right now, the lineman stuff is on hold because I'm on the waiting list. But to not get off topic. After you get your six months to a year experience, right? So say you're on the road for six months, you get your six months to a year experience, you can get a local job like me. I'm driving, I'm driving local, I'm home every day. Um, and I love it, you know, I'm getting paid more than $1,000 a week. Oh, really quick, make sure when you guys go to school, you guys look up non-restricted you don't want to pay that eight thousand dollars eight nine thousand dollars and have a restricted license you guys want to make sure you go to school and that school has you drive in a stick you want to you want to know how to drive stick you don't want to be a liability you don't want to get hired at a job and you, when they ask you at the whole the whole interview went perfect right and it comes time to say hey do you know how to drive menu and you say no kind of get kind of gonna get frowned upon I know you know everything is switching automatic nowadays but a lot of these companies like my company we still have 50 50 50 uh, automatic and then 50 manuals so um, right now I'm driving an automatic which isn't a problem at all but when I got hired here I took my test drive in a 10 speed double clutch manual and if I didn't know how to drive a double clutch manual, I might not have got this job. So if you guys are gonna be paying eight, nine thousand dollars for school, please just make sure you don't have a restricted CEO because in the long run, you're just gonna be hurting yourself. A lot of these companies want a guy who is versatile, who can be put in any truck. Because I can be put in any truck and I can get that thing from point A to point B. Now that that's out of the way, get your six months to a year experience, you guys get your endorsements whatever endorsements you want to do the more endorsements the best endorsements that you can get really is the tankers and hazmat uh, if you have six months to a year experience maybe a year and a half for some and you're above 21 man you could be making 35 36 37 dollars an hour and you're home every day uh, you know you just that that's that's a great career, a very lucrative career. You can make over $100,000 very easily with your tankers and hazmat endorsement. The only thing with that is, for those two endorsements, you need to have a clean background. You can't be a felon, I don't think. Um, pretty stiff background. It takes like 60 days for all that stuff to come back. You gotta take a test, go to the DMV and everything. But uh, say for instance, you are a felon or you're not interested in getting your tankers and hazmat, you can still make over a hundred thousand dollars a year driving locally like I said I make over pretty well over a thousand dollars a week um, over five thousand dollars a month just driving locally I only work uh, I'll be lucky if I get 50 hours of, um, of work just because you know I get paid pretty good and I'm local and mind you you know how I said I never liked to do on the road or it was never appeasing to me? I never drove on the road. When I graduated school, I applied for CDL B jobs, like dump trucks, concrete mixer trucks. I applied for those jobs. I got my hours up, I got my months up, I got my experience up. And then after I got a good year and a half, two years experience of driving locally, home every day, CDL B trucks. Now I work for a CDLA company and I'm getting paid even more money. 
So there's multiple different avenues and ways that you guys can get your CDL. You guys can get a scholarship, get it for free, pay out of pocket, get a um, school uh, school fund. However you guys do it, make sure you do it. Do I think having a CDLA is worth it? Uh, unrestricted CDLA is worth it in 2024, coming into 2025. I absolutely agree. I absolutely think it is hard. And when you first start out, you do start out the bottom of the barrel, mind you. Uh, it is hard for people below. If you're 18, fresh out of school, and you get your CDLA, expect expect to have some trouble, you know, finding a job. Because a lot of these companies, they you, you carry certain stuff to where, like, you need to kind of be 21 years old. Uh, they want to see you have at least a clean driving background record for your car. Like, if you have a lot of accidents in your car, a lot of speeding tickets, like I said, DUIs, it's gonna, you're making it just, you're stacking more stuff against you to get a job because you just need to be responsible when you do get your CDL. Don't get your CDL, like I know, I know one guy, he got a CDL and the, the very next week it was his birthday and he got pulled over and he got a DUI and it's just been damn near impossible for him to get a, um, a, a job let alone a good paying CDL job so my advice if you're going for the trades electrician plumber HVAC lineman welder truck driver we're all in demand we're all always going to be in demand nobody can really do our job y'all you know we're trademen tradesmen the world this US runs off of trades and uh, no matter how you know anybody views it or got anything to say don't let anybody tear you down from doing what you got to do to support you and your family if you are supporting you and your family there's nothing anybody can say because you're doing your job as a man uh, as a woman if you're supporting yourself you know even if it's just you you're doing you're doing your job you're doing what you're supposed to do if you can call your mom up and say hey mom here's 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 your car payment or something, you know, you're just helping helping people out, you're doing the right thing, and don't ever let nobody discourage you from doing what you gotta do, you feel me? So yes, get y'all CDL, get y'all CDL, y'all can really make some good bread off of having your CDL. If y'all have any questions, any questions and concerns, make sure y'all follow my social media down below. I do respond to DMs, PMs, on Snapchat, Instagram. If you guys are new and you make sure you stay tuned for this entire video, shout out to y'all. I appreciate all the love and support. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers. And now we gotta we gotta do a couple of drops today. Uh, probably not gonna do a day in the life. If you guys do want a day in the life of a local truck driver, uh, let's get like 20 likes on this. 20 likes and we'll do that and comment down below day in the life. And I will definitely give y'all that. Uh, hope y'all have a good day. I'm going to see y'all next time, man.